How to arrive at a price for an account that is serviced five days per week and seven days per week. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Say, you know, uh, every once in a while you'll come across an account that uh, is, you know, large enough to will have a section of the of the of the facility that they want to have service five days per week, and then the other area would be seven days per week. So, you know, those there, you just can't price those by the square foot. Uh, the best thing to do is to actually break down those areas. So when you have an account like that, go ahead and, uh, and make sure that you measure the cleanable square footage in the five day per week service and the same thing in the seven day per week. Uh, that's the best thing to do because now once you have your, your cleanable square footage, you can actually use your production rates to arrive at a time to clean for both areas and then from there you can go and you know multiply it by your billable rate and, and then have a, a, an actual price that you would charge per month. From there you can combine the prices and then just give them either a total square foot price or just a regular monthly price. Let me explain exactly how you would do this. So in this example here we got, a, we got a, an account that is uh, 93,500 square feet. And in this, uh, this account uh, it's, a, it's a retail account and uh, one portion of it, we have a section of uh, area that serves five days per week, is, which is the office areas. So you got your office admin and things like that there. And that's getting service five days per week. Um, with that there, you know, we know that we got 73,000 square feet uh, of that area is approximately the, the office area. And so what you do is you just do your calculations as far as your, the scope of work that you're going to perform there and come up with your production rate, which will give you the hours per clean. So, you know, in this case here, we're just examples. Uh, let's say it ends up being like 18, 18 hours a night. And we got a production rate of 4,055 square feet. But anyway, uh, then just do your math. Uh, do the calculations. Uh, just use the formulas that we have and uh, you'll be able to arrive at your total uh, hours per month which in this case would be about uh, about 390 hours total for the month and then you just multiply that by your billable rate and that will give you your monthly price point that you would charge for the office area that's being cleaned five days per week um, now you do the same thing on the other side of the, of the facility that's being serviced seven days per week and in this, uh, uh, for this example, you know, it was approximately 14,000 square feet. And it's, a, it's retail, so it's, that's all floor and restrooms. And in that area, you know, we arrived at that we would uh, uh, do about 37 hours a week. And, uh, and with that there, you know, we finally were able to uh, calculate how many hours it would be. So that was about 161 hours per month. And then again, all we would do is take the 161 hours per month and uh, multiply that by our, our billable rate, and that would give us a price point per month for that, for that service. Again, based off the scope of work and so on and so forth. So now that we we're able to do that, we have our two prices. We've got our $14,430 a month and $5,957 per month. Yeah, add those together, that's $20,387 per month, or $0.22 cents a square foot. So that's what you would do is if you ever have an account or a facility like this that's uh, wanting uh, two service deliveries, such as a five day per week and a seven day per week service. Um, like I say, it's just too difficult to try to throw a, a, and pinpoint a price point to it uh, without breaking them up, uh, separating them, and calcul calculating them the ways I just I explained. So. Uh, just always remember that. It'll be a lot easier. Um, and anyway, whenever you're dealing with a seven day per week account, anyway, you should always be uh, uh, using that formula of knowing the price, uh, knowing the production rate, uh, your monthly hours, then multiplied by your billable rate uh, equals your price point. So uh, by doing so, it's, it will save you a lot of headaches rather than uh, trying to guess what you might charge for a price, uh, price per square foot. Like I say, once you arrive at your, your price point, now you can convert that back to knowing what your price per square foot is. Like I say, in our example, it was 22 cents a square foot. So depending on if your prospect is wanting a price per square foot or just a regular monthly price, whatever, you got it covered. So uh, that's all I have uh, about this subject. But, uh, you know, that's the easiest way to, to calculate and, and, and figure what your price point would be per month 
on, a, on an account that was being serviced five days per week and seven days per week. So hope you liked the tip. Uh, if you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Uh, you'll find hundreds of uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until then, we'll see ya.